Yes, yeah, so let's get more on this now with Ching Wang, chief economist on China from uh, Morgan Stanley Asia. He's in our Hong Kong studio. Thanks so much for speaking to us. So explain to us the significance of this GDP figure, almost 12 percent growth. What does this tell us about the state of China's economy? Well, the, uh, the data release show that uh, show a mix of a high growth and relatively low inflation. So this is quite a, a good mix of uh, growth and inflation data, suggesting that a Goldilocks scenario, and this is the, gold, this is the scenario we have been expecting for uh, since late last year. So with that in mind then, how much of a risk is inflation to China's economic growth right now? Oh, by now the uh, March CPI inflation is 2.4 percent uh, below the consensus forecast, also below uh, last month. We think overall for this year inflation will be quite benign. For instance, we, we forecast average CPI inflation for the year as a whole will be 3.2 percent. Although we expect C uh, inflation will creep up in the first half of the year, but we expect it will peak mid-year, start to decline in the second half of the year. So overall inflation is not a, uh, not a risk to the economy. What we do see, however, is against the backdrop of a Goldilocks scenario, this is the macroeconomic condition which conducive to asset price inflation. So I think the key challenge in facing Chinese policymakers at the current juncture is how to tackle uh, asset price inflation pressure. For instance, recently we have seen rapid property price increase in major cities. Okay, so then uh, what is the best response to that? You're saying that there is a case for, for China tightening its monetary policy, correct? Well, uh, China can, can uh, raise the reserve ratio for the banks, could raise interest rate. However, those typical monetary policy too are not best suited for tackling uh, uh, asset price inflation. What we, what we expect China to take is uh, serious measures, regulatory measures, target specifically at the property okay. sector. For instance, sure, sure, Ms. Ms. Wang, I just wanted to quickly ask you then about uh, China's currency. Are we going to see some movement on that sometime soon? I mean, it's now a question of when rather than if they will let the yuan appreciate. Indeed, it's a question about uh, when, not whether. We, we expect the uh, revelation will take place, and most likely it will take place in the summer, June or July. And when the uh, uh, exit of the PEG takes place, it could involve an initial adjustment of 2 to 3 percent of China, uh, Chinese currency against U.S. dollar. And for the year as a whole, we expect renminbi will uh, appreciate against U.S. dollar by 4 to 5 percent. Okay, Chin Wang, thanks very much for that.